Hey friends, in this video I'm going to show you how to take your Curly Kids dry hair from this to this. And we'll be doing this by using Shea Moisture's four-step system. So let's get started. Okay, Mom, snap out of it. <laughs> Alright, so my first step is going to be to cleanse my daughter's hair. Last week we did a co-wash, which you can check out the other video on our channel. And this week we need to actually do a cleansing. So that's why I am using the Shea Moisture Power Greens line. Now this is a four-step system developed by Shea Moisture. I'm first going to go in with the Power Greens shampoo. This stuff has moringa and avocado. It is great for moisturizing and nourishing weak, dull, pearly, and coily hair. So anywhere in between the 3 ABC range or 4 ABC range, this stuff is made for you. Now you want to use this by applying to wet hair and gently massage the scalp. Now this will give you a great rich lather and make sure that you part the hair in sections as needed. That way you ensure that you are removing all the buildup or dust debris that your child may have had from the past week or so. After that, go ahead and rinse out the shampoo. You can really let the water run the rest of the shampoo along the lengths of the hair in order to really get a good cleansing. Now curly hair can become really dry from shampoo and that's why we really just focus on the scalp. But of course with kids, the rest of the hair can really become dirty too during the week. So you wanna at least make sure the shampoo runs through that. So make sure you get all of the shampoo out. It's very important not to leave any behind. Otherwise you may cause buildup. So now I am going in with this amazing Power Greens Hair Tea Rinse. This has kale, matcha, and green algae. It is really nourishing and softens my daughter's hair. I love, love, love this stuff. And it's got this great tip on it that allows you to really access the scalp. Now this is for weak, dull, curly, and coily hair. And if you do happen to have color in your hair, it is safe for your hair as well. Now you wanna make sure you shake this bottle well before applying. And this is the second step in their four step process with the Power Greens shampoo. So uh, you wanna apply evenly through the scalp and the hair. Make sure you massage into a low lather. And then, I was kinda of surprised by this, but you do not want to rinse. So once I made sure to hit every section of Kirsten's hair with this rinse, I left it in. And you can just see how amazing this is already working on her curls. I'm making sure to hit all the strands. I'm just dividing up her hair as I go. Now, if you do need to section off with clips, you can do that as well. Kirsten, fortunately, her hair does not tangle as much as my other daughters. So rarely do I need to actually section it and detangle as I'm going. Now, if you are struggling with your child's curly hair, go ahead and check out my free one and a half hour webinar. And one of the key questions that I touch on is how to detangle curly hair. I totally get it. My third child actually has 3B, 3C curls and low porosity hair, very thick density. So I know all about detangling and the problems that it brings. So I threw together this free webinar that you can sign up. Just look in the description below and you will see a link for that. And also I have a 12 page guide. Go ahead and download that which has an entire page on how to detangle your curls. Now we're gonna go ahead and go in with the Power Greens Conditioner. Now this is also for curly and coily hair. It is also color safe. This stuff smells amazing. Again, with the kale, matcha, and green algae. This is the third step in the Shea Moisture Power Greens line. And this, this stuff is just really good. So how you wanna apply, you apply to clean wet hair, gently comb through from the roots to the ends. Now make sure you leave in for up to three minutes and then you wanna rinse. 
You can see here I needed to apply extra. Now if you're having a hard time getting a good slip in her hair, just go ahead and add some water. So remember to hydrate hair, you need to take conditioner or the product and add water. And that's how you'll get a great slip or healthy, really conditioned and hydrated hair. You need both of those. So you don't need to continue to keep applying product upon product when you're adding conditioner, but really mix it in with water. That way you can really work into the hair strands. Now Kirsten has low porosity hair. So the warmth of my hands really help to penetrate the hair to make sure that the conditioner is really working into the hair strands. So again, we will wait for three minutes and then we will rinse out. Now this stuff for best results, you want to use the full line, the shampoo. We already did the hair tea rinse followed by the conditioner. So why I'm conditioning my daughter's hair, this is really the time that I go in and detangle. I know a lot of people use detanglers, but conditioners can really be used as the detangler as well. So once you've let the product sit for a little while, you can go in and detangle. I really like to use the finger detangling method, so I would use my hands and really work the product into her strands. I'd start from the end of the strands and work my way up. You never wanna drag all of the tangles from the top or from the scalp all the way down. You're really just going to get a, a huge, huge mat in her hair and that will be really hard to work out. So you can see here I'm adding water from the tub as I go just to really lock in all of that moisture from the product and then we'll go ahead and rinse it out. Now you can use a warm water temperature to rinse this out because following this, we're going to use the Power Greens Reconstructor or the mask. So continue with warm water so that the hair strands stay open and that they would be ready to apply the next product. So I don't really worry about getting all of the conditioner out, sometimes you can actually leave some in. So her curls are really looking healthy already, but of course, every other week, you wanna use some kind of curly hair mask. So that's why I chose this week to tr test out this line. So again, this is the fourth step. We've already shampooed, we've used the tea rinse, and we've already used the conditioner. And you can just see how happy her curls are. I just love, love, love it. So once you go ahead and apply this, you want to start from the ends of the hair strands and work your way up. Make sure to distribute evenly. You can use your hands to really work the product in. Now, if you do choose to use a wide tooth comb, you can go ahead and do that. I really am trying to work away from using the Tangle Teaser. If you've seen my other videos, you know that that is my go-to, but I'm really trying to avoid brushes just because they cause so much extra split ends. So I'm trying to stick to finger detangling and wide tooth combs these days. All right, so getting back to this product, after you distribute through her hair evenly, because we're gonna leave it in the hair for about 10 to 15 minutes, go ahead and cover it with a shower cap. That way all the heat is trapped in and her low porosity hair will be well heated and the product will just saturate while we're waiting for this time to pass. Once the 15 minutes has passed, go ahead and rinse well with water. Now you can use colder water because that's going to lock in the product. And you can do this if you definitely have low porosity hair, just like Kirsten does. But look how great this product has worked into her hair. Her curls are so happy. I just love, 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 love it. So she's happy, I'm happy, there's no tangles. Her hair is looking great. And like I said, this deep conditioning mask will be good for two weeks. Now, if you haven't been using a deep conditioning mask, which a lot of my clients do admit that they never were aware of the deep conditioning treatments, then go ahead and do this deep conditioning mask every week for about a month. And then once you get a really good basis set, you can go back to bi-weekly. Now, just look at her curl. She's such a diva. She just loves being on camera. I have no problems with this line. It's absolutely amazing. 
If you check out my other videos, you know I love Shea Moisture, but just take a look at their other lines because they do have different lines or different types of curly hair. Make sure you guys stay tuned to next week's video where I'll show you how to define curls using the shingling method using these two products here. Also make sure you subscribe, click on that bell, that way you'll be notified when that video is uploaded. Thank you guys so much for watching this wash day with my curly kiddo, and I hope you found it useful. Please make sure to subscribe, click on that bell, like it, put in the comments below whether you found this helpful and what products you are using for your wash day. Let our community know down below. We love you guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.